welcome to our channel in the last session we discussed set interface and also discussed the set interface is implemented by three classes what are the three classes the three classes are hash set linked hash set and tree set these are the three classes that implement set interface what is the difference among these three classes? Hash set means organizes the elements without any order. Linked hash set means organize the elements in the insertion order. That means in which ob order the objects come, they store the elements in the same order. Tree set means organize the elements in sorted order. Okay. Anyway, this set is a subinterface of collection. What is the purpose of collection? To store some set of elements or some set of objects. Now, in this session, we will discuss storing some set of integer objects. Some set of integer objects. I will write down one single program. Within this program, I will clear all these hash set, linked hash set and tree set. Okay. Now, coming to the program, step by step, file, new, create one Java project, project, create one Java project, collection, set underscore application one. Assume this is my name of my project. Click on no and here. Right click on SRC, new, some package, pack one. Under this pack one, create a class. So give the name of the class is some demo set one, which consists of main method also, which consists of main method also. Okay, now import java dot util dot star import java dot util dot star so first to create a scanner object scanner some sc is equal to new scanner of system dot in here i created one scanner object for reading input from the user for reading input from the user now immediately what you are doing create one try catch block try with the resource statement you know the logic try sc with the resource statement open and close this is end of try with resource for understanding i used the comment also that is end of the try with resource Okay, what, me, what is the meaning? Once the try block is completed, automatically the scanner object is closed. You no need to close separately. That is the point. Okay, now create a reference variable for the set interface set. Within the angular bracket, you need to write type. Here, integer. I already said in this session, we discussed about integer. So, within angular bracket, write down integer, some object. Initially, I does not give any value. If you give a hash set object, that refers hash set class. Whatever the class object you are given, that will take that reference. That will take that reference. Okay. Now, I used one term string, some s is equal to null. Just to for performing which operation you are doing. Just to for understanding purpose, I use this one. Now start the process. Try block. Immediately catch block. Catch some exception E. Catch some exception E. E dot print stack trace. Okay. Whenever you open the try block, immediately close. So for your reference, I return the statement end of try. End of try block. Now, I return my entire logic inside the try block. Here, what I am doing? 
you have three classes hash set linked hash set and tree set my aim is display all the three classes if i select option one hash set to be performed if i select option two linked hash set to be performed if i select option three tree set is to be performed that is the reason based on your option the corresponding class need to be selected for that what i am doing while true end of loop within that loop i am selecting the choice that is first i am printing system dot how dot print ln choice is just to some messages now print to one by one print to one by one what is one by one system dot how dot print ln here i displayed option one as has said suppose backslash t one dot hash sage one dot has set okay now plus sorry here plus option two backslash n backslash t two i selected my option as linked has set i think you got the point these are just for displaying purpose these are just for displaying purpose plus backslash n backslash t three dot tree set close this one and no you need to write exit statement also this is written inside the loop you need to stop at one particular point t4 dot exit now you understand so these are display and the output screen choices has set linked has set tree set exit now immediately what you are doing once these messages is displayed on the screen user is allowed to enter the choice system dot out dot print ln enter choice if i select choice as one now has set operation is to be performed if i select choice as two then linked has set operation is to be performed now see this one by using switch case so switch off open and close this is end of switch just for my understanding i return in comments so within the switch what you are doing sc dot next to int of here i read the choice whatever the choice i read according to that i will write down the logic case one what is case one has set remember here you need to create an object for the has set so already i given some reference ob here what you are writing directly ob is equal to new has set of integer now you understand the syntax so create an object for the has set that is assigned to set reference instead of in the previous example i written in a single line instead of writing in a single line i written the reference variable at the beginning whatever the class directly i assign the object to that reference variable now s is equal to what is s just to i read one string s is equal to hash set here this is just i am using on which class i am performing the operation just to for message only even though you are not writing that is not a problem break close case one similarly write down case two ob is equal to that is if i select option two then linked has set is to be performed on integer integer object now s is equal to just to one message linked has set of e break and third one case three so what is that one object is equal to new 
फैक्ट्री सेट ऑफ इंटीजर नाउ एस इज इक्वल टू ट्री सेट ऑफ ओके सो केस वन केस टू केस थ्री थ्री केसेस आर कंप्लीटेड नाउ कमिंग टू केस फोर व्हाट इज केस फोर सिंपली एग्जिट ऑपरेशन केस फोर जस्ट टू प्रिंट वन मेसेज सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन सम ऑपरेशन आर स्टॉपड ऑपरेशन आर स्टॉपड And then system dot exit of zero. System dot exit of zero means the program is exited and we are coming out of the program. Finally, default. What is the default? If you are given any wrong choice other than one, two, three, four, if you are given any wrong choice, then what i am doing i am does not print any message system dot out dot print ln just i open and close even though you are not writing not a problem and then i return one message continue what is the meaning of continue again you need to enter the correct choice by mistake you are given any wrong choice you are allowed to enter new choice once again these are the switch case these are the switch case save and run some errors are there so we will check here is the error tree set okay save now check any other errors are there in the program here backslash and Close this switch case. Sorry, close this print statement. Now execute. Observe what happened. For this message only, I return up to now. So choice is it displays by using while loop. By using while loop, it displays the messages. Enter the choice. If I select choice one, has set is selected. Anyway, for that I did not return the lazy. So now clear. Choice is displayed, and then I selected the choice. Once the choice is selected, once the choice is selected, now system dot out dot print ln. I display one message: operations performed on operations performed on plus yes. Now you got it. Initial if I select case one. Yes, value is equal to has set. Now here it displays the message operations performed on has set for that purpose only. Now perform the operation by using while loop. You can do, for example, if you want to do add operation, you can do add operation multiple number of times. That is the reason I am using a loop again end of loop again end of the loop now. What are the operations that we are going to perform right now? I am doing only two operations: add and remove. Again, write down the same point: system dot out to dot print ln. Some choice. Now, write down system dot out dot print ln. System dot out dot print ln backslash t one. First operation is adding an element. So, in the, like previous here, I am displaying the same plus. Now, my second operation is remove operation. Write down backslash and remove operation. Remove. If you want any third remaining operations, you can move as it is. Just to, for example, right now I am doing only three op two operations. So next to one is my exit. No, close. So just to display two operations. If I select the choice one again, what is the logic? System dot out to dot print ln enter 
choice enter choice now same s w i t c h switch off end of switch end of switch here read the choice s c dot next to int of s c dot next to int of so what is my case one case one is addition operation in addition operation we are adding one integer object so system dot out dot print ln enter integer element you just to need to enter one integer element ob dot object name is ob the method name is add here actually you entered this one primitive but you need to convert into object how do you convert into object by using boxing process under wrapper class directly i written new integer of here you are passing primitive instead of new variable directly i used like this now internally what happened first to sc dot next int of i am reading one integer primitive value by using this one that primitive is converted into object okay after adding the element i am printing the list of elements that are stored up to now simply ob dot two string method you know two string method is used for displaying wrapper class objects and string objects case one is completed coming to case two what is the case two you need to remove an element before removing the element first check the condition if the set is empty it is not possible to remove ob dot is empty yes here you need to end of yes here you need to write some message what is the message system dot out dot print ln suppose set is some empty like this you are writing some message now ob dot is empty sorry here here so if the set is empty you need to display one message else else means you need a set consists of some element then what you are doing remove the element first enter the element to be removed which element you want to remove please enter that particular element enter that particular element once you enter that element that is in the form of boxing integer some element is equal to new integer of sc dot next in you got it same procedure that is you need to convert into object the remove operation is also performed in on the object okay again you have some question i entered some element suppose if the element is not available the collection is set consists of some element suppose if the element is not available then we will check one more condition if ob dot remove of element remember the remove method returns boolean value remove method returns boolean value if it returns true means system dot out dot print ln just to display some message element removed successfully element removed successfully and then print system dot out dot two string message after removal print the system dot out dot print ln ob dot two string message okay fine else else in the sense that element is not available else is system dot out dot print ln element is not available you got it if the element is not available just you are displaying some message this is close of this else close of this else 
so two l's are closed then break coming out of the case two now what is case three case three is simply exit so just i am displaying some essay system dot out dot print ln i am displaying some essays operations stopped on plus yes so on which data set operations stopped on break break now the last one default default in a sense just i am displaying system dot out dot print ln invalid choice invalid choice the end of this is now here observe you written everything under this while loop so while the condition is true so these messages are displayed if i select choice one add operation is performed and then coming out of the loop but that is not my aim i need to add multiple number of times that is the loop is need to be repeated multiple number of times the loop repeated multiple number of times anyway it repeats multiple number of times when we are coming out of the loop here you are writing while of true means it is an infinite loop the loop is repeated when you are coming out of the loop whenever you are writing case 3 even you are writing case 3 break coming out of the switch case way only Break means you are coming out of the switch only, not out of the loop. For that, we can use a labeled break. How? For example, break PQR. Where PQR is pointing, we are coming out of that loop. Here I written PQR. You observe? Here I written PQR. If I written PQR there, break PQR in a sense, we are coming out of that particular loop we are coming out of this loop now observe the first loop is completed the second loop is completed the try is completed and the exception is also completed exception is also completed now this is the closing of main method and that is the closing of while uh, class now everything is fine save run this program observe first you need to select one choice enter the choice so it displays some message operations performed on hash set these are suppose first to do addition operation add an element 23 again it asks the choice suppose enter choice one enter an integer element 12 enter the choice one perform an operation 89 sorry element 89 see this one observe the order First 23, 23, 12, 23, 18, and 12, it does not follow any insertion order. Observe, it does not follow any ascending order. Randomly, it stores the element. Why? Here, I select hash set. I select hash set. Suppose, again, choice 1, 56. Okay? Now, enter choice 2. Enter the element to be removed. Suppose if I want to remove an element 57, see this one, 57 is not available. It displays element is not available. So enter choice to 56. Yes. See this one? Element is removed and this is the remaining one. Now, if you enter choice 3, we are coming out of this while loop. Again, it displays the operation to you. Suppose if you select choice 2, again insert the element 45. Choice 1. Some 26, see, 45, 26, choice 1, some 12. Observe, the elements are stored in the insertion order. Now, 3, enter choice 3. Now, last to select, enter choice 3, tree search. Now, 1, first element is 45. Again, add 12. Observe, automatically, they are placed in ascending order. They are placed in ascending order. Now, you observe the differences among these three. Now, I entered choice three here. If by mistake I given any wrong choice, I return continue there. In the last case, default I return continue means again that messages are displayed until you enter choice four. Now, operations are stopped. This is my program.
okay this is the way to implement collection that is set interface for integers remember here in place of integer if you return string automatically the set is used for storing string objects in the next session we will discuss the same interface that is set which is used to store some user defined objects like employee details product details book details like that we will discuss in the next session that is the end of today's session thank you